day to you everyone it's always nice to be here and bringing you trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings and it's always exciting that you guys are here with me and don't forget that um we bring you the most exciting and reliable happenings in nigeria and beyond and guess what uh, is a yamu has been dragged to court by some of the party members and uh, some of the reasons will shock you because uh, you know i wonder why the party has to still take their candidates to court because if the candidate is eventually disqualified that means that uh, the party would not have a candidate for the edo uh, governorship election which would be bad for such a party so whoever is instigating them to you know go ahead with this kind of a case in court well it's not good for the apc but all the same i'll bring you details of this shortly but before then please if you haven't subscribed please do and also give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys without wasting much of your time let us dive right into the details of this report as it says, an aggrieved member of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and the legal practitioner, Mr. Charles Ude, on Wednesday filed a suit before the Federal High Court in Abuja to disqualify the governorship candidate of the party in Edo State, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu. The plaintiff in his suit marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash A39 slash 2020 told the court that the emergence of Ize Iyamu as a candidate of the party for the September 19 governorship election in Edo State was unlawful, insisting that both the screening and the primary election committee that cleared him were not validly constituted. According to the plaintiff, in, the view, in view of the June 16 judgment of the Court of Appeal, which affirmed that the former national chairman of the party, Adams Oshemole, was duly suspended on November 2, 2019. All the decision he took during the subsistence of his suspension remained invalid, null and void, and no legal consequences. He told the court that the following that following the appellate court's judgment that affirmed the Shamalet suspension, Chief Victor Giadam, who took over the affairs of the party, cancelled both the screening and primary elections committees that cleared Ize Iyamu, which he did not set up. Cited as first of six defendants in the suits at the APC, Oshomole Giadom, Hilad Eta, Independent National Electoral Commission, and Pastor Ize Iyamu, especially the plaintiff, is praying the court to determine whether having regard to the entirety of the constitution of the first defendant's APC, a suspended member of the first defendant can, fee, can validly exercise powers and discharge the functions and duties of the national chairman of the first defendant. Whether in view of the judgment of the Nigerian Court of Appeal, in appeal number CA-A-188-2020 slash 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 delivered on the 16th day of June 2020, affirming as valid the suspension of the second defendant on the second day of November 2019. All the decisions are taken by the second defendant as the national chairman of the first defendant during the subsistence of his suspension is not valid, null and void, and liable to be set aside. Whether in view of the 16th March 2020 decision rendered by the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Quorum Honorable Justice S.U. Baturi in suit number FCT slash HC slash M slash 6447 slash 2020, the emergence of the sixth defendant as the candidate of the first defendant for the September 2020 governorship election in Edo State is not unlawful and therefore invalid having been cancelled by the third defendant who did not set up both the screening and primary elections, election committees of the first defendant. Upon determination of the legal questions, he is seeking the following relief, a declaration that having regard to the entirety of the constitution of the first defendant, a suspended member of the first defendant cannot validly exercise the powers and discharge the functions and car or carry out the duties of the national chairman of the first defendant. 
a declaration that in view of the judgment of the Nigerian Court of Appeal in Appeal No. CA-A-188-2020, delivered on the 16th day of June 2020, affirming as valid the suspension of the second defendant on the second day of November 2019, all the decisions are taken by the second defendant as the national chairman of the first defendant during the subsistence of his suspension is valid, is invalid, null void, and no legal consequence. A declaration that in view of the 16th March 2020 decision rendered by the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, Quorum Honorable Justice S.U. Battery in suit number FTAs. F FCT slash HC slash M slash six four four seven twenty and slash twenty twenty. The emergence of the of the six defendants as the candidates of the first defendant for the September twenty twenty governorship election in Edo State is unlawful and therefore invalid, having been cancelled by the third defendant, who did not set up both the screening committee and primary election committee of the first defendant for the September twenty twenty governorship election in Edo State. A declaration that the first defendant does not have any valid candidate for the September 2020 governorship election in Edo State. An order of this honorable court setting, setting aside as nullity and as having no legal force or the decisions taken by the second defendant as the national chairman of the first defendant during the subsistence of his suspension from the second day of November 2019 to the 16th day of June. 2020 when the court of appeal affirmed the same an order of his honorable court setting aside in nullity and as having no legal force all the decisions taken by the fourth defendant as the purported acting national chairman of the first defendant from the 16th day of june 2020 to the 25th day of june 2020 when the national executive committee of the first defendant Dissolve the National Working Committee of the First Defendant. An order of, he, of this Honorable Court setting aside as nullity and as having no legal force, the purported ratification on the 25th day of June 2020 by the National Executive Committee of the First Defendant of the primary election, which produced the sixth defendant as the first defendant's candidate for the September 2020 governorship election in Edo State as well as an order of this honorable court restraining the fifth defendant from the rec from recognizing the sixth defendant pastor osage Ize iyamu or accepting his name for publication on the ballot paper from the first defendant as its governorship candidate for the september 2020 governorship election in the state meanwhile no date has been fixed for the hearing of the matter well, you can see that APC actually has too many issues to be resolved because this is a very wrong time for, you know, any party member to bring such issues to the public notice and, you know, take uh, the party to court for disqualification of the candidate. Because really, if you check it, you would understand that if eventually this case is taken to court and the candidate is disqualified, that means the party does not have a candidate irrespective of if the uh, party uh, still wants to run for that election because it is past the date for any party to change candidates. So it is a very wrong time for the party to be fighting itself because any party that is fighting itself now is likely to lose the ideal state or any other election. And it is high time that the party call their members together and let them understand what is going on in the Edo state election. I'm very sure that whoever is doing this is an aggrieved member of the APC. So that means the party still has a lot of work to do to ensure that their candidate is safe and sound and also ready to concentrate for the forthcoming election. Because if they continue like this, they cannot win a do state election. There are so many other forces that are already working against, you know, Pastor Sage Zeyamu and the APC in a do state already. And hopefully that uh, that will not also be their portion that they will not have a candidate for the Edo election come September 19th because the court cases lingering around the neck of Ize Iyamu and the APC is alarming. And, uh, you know, the first one has been, you know, adjourned till uh, October 
and hopefully after his election he's still going to face that and if he's guilty that means he has been disqualified as the governor of Edo State so so many forces surrounding him becoming the governor of Edo State but all the same the parties should put themselves together and work towards you know the emergence of their candidates so guys you've heard it all thank you so much for being here please ensure that you give this video a thumbs up thank you for staying tuned do have a pleasant day bye for now